In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, divine word made flesh, from the beginning you already were. Before even time began, you were Son and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary. You became Jesus, divine word, made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here so we may live and love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name we pray now always, and in always, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. A blessed and wonderful day, Sunday, to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship via this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, in Christ the King Mission Seminary. We are now on the second Sunday of Easter. The Church celebrates also today the Divine Mercy Sunday. Our Mass today will be presided by Reverend Father Jerry Orbos, SVT. Please rise, our celebration will now begin. Sunday, we gather together with gratitude in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, we bow our heads with gratitude to our God who is just, who is good, who is loving, who is generous and merciful. Only by God's mercy can we really face Him someday and say, Lord, reporting, here I am, your unworthy servant. Thank you. Dear Lord, please forgive us for the times we sin against you so often again and again, and yet you are merciful. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Forgive us for the times we hurt one another again and again. 
and persist in our own selfishness and pride. Forgive us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Today, Divine Mercy Sunday, we ask for forgiveness from the Lord. Have mercy on me, O God, I am a sinner. Today also, we tell the Lord, Lord, I forgive all people who have hurt me. We tell the Lord also, Lord, today I ask for forgiveness from people I have hurt. And today we tell the Lord, Lord, I thank you. I accept with humility your forgiveness. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. We have many things to thank God for. We give praise and glory to God. Everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindled the faith of the people you have made your own. Increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was one heart and mind. No one claimed that any possession of his was his own, but they were everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded to them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them bring proceeds of the sale and put them at the feet of the apostles and they were distributed to each according to need the word of the lord thanks be to god
house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. Pressed and was falling, but the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. the builders rejected has become the cornerstone by the Lord has this been done it is wonderful in our eyes this is the day the Lord has made let us be glad and rejoice in it First letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is Christ is begotten by God, and everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by Him. In, his, in this way, we know that we love the children of God, and we love God and obey His commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not burdensome. For whoever is begotten by God conquers the world, and victory that conquers the world is our fate. Who indeed is the victor of all the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testify, and the Spirit is truth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the evening of on the evening of that first day of the week, even though the disciples had locked the doors of the place where they were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood before them. Peace be with you, he said. When he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. At the sight of the Lord, the disciples rejoiced. Peace be with you, he said again. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. Then he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive men's sins, they are forgiven them. If you hold them bound, they are held bound. It happened that one of the twelve, Thomas, the name means twin, was absent when Jesus came. The other disciples kept telling him, We have seen the Lord. His answer was, I never believe it without proving the nail prints in his hands, without putting my finger in the nail marks and my hand into his side. A week later, the disciples were once more in the room, and this time Thomas was with them. Despite the locked doors, Jesus came and stood before them. Peace be with you, he said. Then to Thomas, take your finger and examine my hands. Put your hand into my side. Do not persist in your unbelief, but believe. Thomas said in response, My Lord and my God. Jesus then said to him, You became a believer because you saw me. Blessed are they who have not seen and have believed. Jesus performed many other signs as well, signs not recorded here in the presence of his disciples. But these have been recorded to help you believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, so that through this faith you may have life in His name. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, bless it is unworthy priest that I may share with humility and with the heart that we listen with the Holy Spirit in our hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Sisters and brothers, thank you for braving the heat just to be here today, leaving your comfort zones, especially those who with much difficulty, you still came here today. You had to push a wheelchair or you have to go with a painfulness. Thank you, everyone. Today, Divine Mercy Sunday. We're here to say, Lord, thank you so much for loving us, for your mercy. Salamat po sa awa ninyo, Panginoon. I have a question. Uh, do birds have hands? May kamay ba yung mga ibon? Wala? Eh, bakit? Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Ah, kapatid, appear tayo. Thank you, Lord. We have a loving God. We have been forgiven. There is hope. Appear tayo. Dear friends, today, I, I just want to remind all of us that God, first of all, is just. He is good. He is loving. 
He is generous and above all, He is merciful. See the level? If you cannot be good, at least be just. That's the bottom line. Yung patas. You know how patas lang po. Don't be unjust to people. Second level, we go deeper. Be good. Patas. Be good means magpakabait tayo. Be good. It pays to be good. Don't believe people say, wala, being good, that's 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 uh, stupidity. No, no, no. Being good is integrity. Stay good. Stay beautiful. Just good. The next level is loving. Mapagmahal ka ba? I mean, it means you're willing to go out of your comfort zone, go the extra mile, give the extra smile. Then you're getting better. Good, loving, generous. Mapagbigay ka ba? And finally, merciful. Maawain ka ba? I mean, they don't deserve it, but still, you go. This is the way to go for all of us. So let's tell one another, remind one another today. Tell the person beside you, be just, paging patas ka ha, be good, magpakabait ka, be loving, maging mapagmahal ka, be generous, ah, maging mapagbigay ka naman. And be merciful. Maging maawain ka. This is what the Lord asks all of us. Ewan ko kung anong level ka na. Whatever. Just keep going. We must become more and more like our good, loving Father. And today, the Lord tells all of us, Peace be with you. Appear, peace be with you. Bakit po napakahalaga yung peace be with you? To the disciples. They were, they locked their doors. They were all afraid. Why were they afraid? The Jews? Yes. But more than that, you know why they were afraid? Because they all betrayed Jesus. They all ran away. And here He comes, alive, as He promised. They were full of shame. And what did the Lord tell them? He said, Peace. It's okay. It's okay. I understand. Jesus could have said, Oh, kayo, mga walang ya, kayo. And He started berating them. None of that. He said, It's okay. Peace. Be at peace. What a consolation, mga kapatid. That, Again and again, the Lord tells us, It's okay, anak. Nagkasala ka. It's okay. I forgive you. Sana po, huwag na huwag niyong mamimiss yung akap ng Diyos. Don't stay away from the Lord too long, too far. Ay, makasalanan kasi ako, Father. This is what divine mercy is all about. One of the most beautiful lines in the Divine Mercy is the one that says, Your sin is just like a drop of water in the ocean of God's great mercy. Picture that. Kasalanan natin, isang patak lang ng tubig yan sa malawak na karagatan ng pagmamahal at awa ng Diyos. Wow. And sometimes, that's too, too good to be true, yeah? But it is true. Inuulit ko po, mga kapatid, it is better to be presumptuous of God's love than to doubt God's love. 
Because when you doubt God's love, you're listening to the evil one. Telling you, wala ka na, wala ka ng pag-asa, nakakahiya ka na, wag niyan. That's the evil one. And the Lord keeps telling you, anak, just come as you are. No questions asked. I love you. I embrace you. So today, may I invite you all just to bow your heads. Experience. Whatever you have been, the Lord tells you today, you are my beloved son. I love you still. You are my beloved daughter. I embrace you. And so in humility, we say, Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner. Panginoon, maawa po kayo sa akin. Ako po ay makasalanan. At Panginoon, pinapatawad ko na rin mga taong nakasakit sa akin. Sapagkat pinatawad ninyo ako. As you have forgiven me, I now also forgive all the people who have hurt me. Bahala na po kayo sa kanila, Panginoon. And Lord, I ask for forgiveness from people I have hurt. Sorry po sa mga taong nasaktan ko, nagamit ko, whatever. I pray for them. Make reparation. And today, all of us, we say, Lord, I humbly and gratefully accept your forgiveness. Tinatanggap ko po ng buong pakumbaba at galak ang inyong pagpapatawad. Maraming, maraming salamat po. God, is just, He is good, He is loving, He is generous and merciful. So thank you, Lord. Let's be grateful. Salamat. Maraming salamat po. Thank you lang, thank you. And move on. Um, but you know, you and I who have received healing or forgiveness, it should not stop there. Remember that incident when Jesus healed the ten lepers? And one, only one came back. And Jesus said, where are the other nine? So you and I who are recipients of healing and forgiveness, number one, must be grateful the rest of our lives now. Gratitude is the best attitude. And number two, we must be fruitful from now on. Um, you know, I don't know how to say this. If there are doctors here, I am five years cancer-free now. So how do you say it correctly? My cancer is on remission, or I am on remission. Tama na po ba yon? Uh, either the cancer, or, but for me, ito po yon. Well, whatever. I'm, I'm on remission. My cancer is dormant, or whatever. But you know, the other meaning of remission is. I have recalculated my mission. I have renewed my mission. I've been cleansed and ito na, ito na. Dati I was just <laughs> kung saan saan nakatingin but I have said this is the mission I'm going to do. The rest of my life, ito na. It means you have received healing or forgiveness. It means, hey, teka muna, ito na. Final destination is to go to heaven. Kapatid, many of us have received so many blessings. And yet, wala lang. Parang walang nangyari. Parang yung dasal ka ng dasal. 
pero pareho pa rin ang asal. Kumpisal ng kumpisal, pareho pa rin ang asal. Praying and praying, character still the same. Confessing and confessing, and you keep on sinning. Aren't we all guilty of that? But still, please, don't lose hope. Keep believing that God still loves you, no matter what. This is what I believe in, and this is what I proclaim. Mahal tayo ng Diyos. Kaya sabihin mo sa katabi mo, mahal ka ng Diyos, maging sino ka man. Kahit ikaw ay bad boy, maging puso mo'y sinungaling, paminsan-minsan. Habang may buhay, ikaw lamang ngayon at kailanman. Amen? Sabihin mo sa kanya, ikaw naman di na natuto. Ikaw pa, I love kita. Pangako sa'yo, meet your garden. Lovers in Paris, on the wings of love forevermore. Provinciano. Please tell the person again beside you, don't worry, be happy. God loves you. Mama Mary loves you. Amen. Amen. So, in closing, the Lord said, As the Father has sent me, so I send you. So, in other words, whenever we receive reconciliation, it should lead us to mission. Mission. When we come closer to God, let's continue to do our mission. And remember, sa mga nabiyayaan, God has raised your standard of living. Please, raise your standard of giving. Today also, I say, our officials in government. Mga kapatid, maawa po kayo sa taong bayan. Marami po kasi sa konting serbisyo, milyon-milyon naman ang ninanakaw sa tao. Maawa po kayo sa mga taong bayang naghihirap. This is the real meaning of missions of divine mercy. That God has been merciful to us, let's be merciful to the people who need us most. Sisters and brothers, let me end with looking back at Holy Week. Last Sunday, it's Easter Sunday. Of all the days of the Holy Week, anong relate ka? Mas gusto mo. Holy Thursday, yeah, no? God showing His love, washing of the feet, institution of the Eucharist, priesthood. Lunda po, no? Good Friday, talagang ang bigat. Feel na feel how Jesus really suffered and died. Painful. Of course, Easter Sunday, Jesus is alive. But there is one day of the week, of that Holy Week, na parang hindi significant. And this is Black Saturday. But the more I think about it, Black Saturday, malalim po yan. Why? Black Saturday, wala si Jesus eh. He's not present anymore. And the day is silent. No activities. Walang stations of the car. Wala na. It's just a day that is silent. A day when even God is silent. Parang ang feeling mo, what happened? What's going to happen? And why do I tell this? All of us go through what I would call Black Saturday moments. Kunwari, nagpa-check up ka, biopsy, and then the result, 
will come out after a week. That week is like a black Saturday. You're helpless. You don't know what will happen. And all you do is hope. Wala kang trabaho. You're trying, waiting, waiting. Parang walang nangyayari. Black Saturday. Parang even God is silent. Or maybe a relationship breaking up. Where will it lead to? Shall I hold on? Shall I... There are moments sa buhay natin when we encounter Black Saturday. And you know, sisters and brothers, when you go through those times, and parang even God is silent, parang nobody can help you, just be still. Be silent. God is working behind the scene. May nangyayari pa rin. Sa katahimikan, in the helplessness, He is there. Please, you who are going through any Black Saturday now, be still and know that I am God. Psalm 46.10 And if I may add, be silent and know that I am God. He is with us always and in always. Breakthrough will come. Easter will come. Just like that, the Lord will suddenly appear. Mama Mary, teach us as you stood under the cross, when everything seemed lost, teach us to hold on to you. Hold on to goodness. Hold on to love. Hold on to hope. Jesus, King of mercy, we trust in you. Jesus, King of mercy, we trust in you. Jesus, King of mercy, we trust in you. Amen and Amen. Sisters and brothers, we rise. Please we rise. profess our faith. Again, we tell the world, we tell ourselves, we proclaim what we believe in. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us turn to the Father through our Lord Jesus, who plunged us into the infinite ocean of His mercy that is greater than sin, evil, suffering, and death. In His loving mercy, we have victory, salvation, and eternal life. Our response, God of mercy, listen to our prayer. God of mercy, listen to our prayer. For the leaders of the church, that believing in and express, experiencing the Lord's infinite mercy, they may always protect it to God's people. We pray. God, God of mercy, listen to our prayer. For, all, for our local and national leaders, that like the apostles, they may attend to the needs of our communities and work for peace, unity and progress we pray 
God of mercy, listen to our prayer. For those who, like Thomas, live in doubt and fear, that peace and forgiveness of the risen Christ may strengthen them to face life's challenges and difficulties. We pray. God of mercy, listen to our prayer. For all of us gathered here, that we may be immersed in the ocean of divine mercy and live as ministers of the Lord's peace and reconciliation. We pray. God of mercy, listen to our prayer. For our departed brothers and sisters, may they experience the infinite mercy of God in the heavenly paradise. We pray. God of mercy, listen to our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community, especially for the death anniversary of Mercedes Lagoy and for our personal intentions. We pray. God of mercy, listen to our prayer. God our Father, in Jesus you have shown us your boundless love and infinite mercy. Teach us to love you in return and trust our lives to your love and mercy and serve you in our brothers and sisters. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice of thanksgiving may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people and those who are brought to a new birth that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism they may attain an ending happiness to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us joyfully give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to acclaim you, Lord, and on this day above all, to laud you more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Who is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world? By dying, He has destroyed our death. By rising, He restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they proclaim. three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst. Let's all humbly welcome the Lord in our midst and in our hearts. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, 
Eucharist, we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, Saint Joseph, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Brothers, especially those who are on Black Saturday mode, just continue that BTS. Just believe that your love, trust that God will help you, and surrender everything, everyone, to God's loving will and plan for you. As we now call on God, our loving, merciful Father. Father, deliver us from all evil, grant us peace, keep us free from sin, protect us from useless worries and anxieties, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, and my peace I give you. Look not upon our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. 
Amen. And may the peace and the joy of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, when may pinagdadaanan tayo, this is the time for us also to be silent. Stop talking so many things about your problem. Be silent and you listen to the Lord. Because God is speaking to you. So now, in our sign of peace, let's give one another a very simple reminder. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, Just be silent. God is there. Your peace be with you. Peace be with you. Sisters brothers, behold the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, the King of mercy, who loves you and me with no conditions, without end. Thank you. Sorry, Lord. Help us, Lord. Jesus, we trust in you. The Lamb of God who takes Excuse away the sin of the world, happy and grateful are we who are called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Reminder. Holy Communion will be done by Rose. Kindly wait for the ushers to guide you accordingly. And also, to receive the body of Christ with reverence, please keep your hands free. Thank you so much. Act of Spiritual Communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you Amen.
Announcements. We continue to invite you to come and rest a while at the Sanctuary of the Divine Word and spend time with Jesus in the Adoration Chapel. Let us adore and revere Him in silence and find solace in His presence before the Blessed Sacrament. 
Enjoy the refreshments al fresco at the, at the Mission Bus Snack Bar. It is open every Sunday from 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. and from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. It is an apostolate, a part of the formation of our seminarians for missionary life. Let us support our future missionaries. We would also thank our Mass offerers for today's Mass, Mr. and Mrs. Jefferson Agbayani and family, and likewise to Ms. Lita Ilano, Ms. Coren Toreno, Ms. Fe Manzano, Eche Nicolas, and to Agoncillo family. Kindly rise for the final blessing. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and in our hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So, Happy Father Nelson Cabanero, a Montfort missionary, suddenly appeared. After six years in England, reassigned now to West Rembo, Santa Teresa, Saint Teresa Parish in Makati. And well, thank you, and um, please take care of yourselves and uh, try to beat the heat by being warm with the heart. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow your heads. May God, who is, who by the resurrection of His only begotten Son was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by His blessing. Amen. May He, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. God is good, loving and merciful. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Be just. Be good. Be loving. Be generous. And be merciful. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. 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 Ambassador Music Ministry. Thank you for the choir. And now let the children come. And please help our missionaries now in this collection.
OMG, God is alive, OMG, God is alive, OMG, God is alive, is alive in you and me. One more time, OMG, God is alive. Yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Hamnida, Hamsa Hamnida, Hamsa Hamnida, yes, This year, happy birthday to you, and may the spirit of Christmas be always in our hearts. God bless you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>